Hey YouTube, how you guys doing? Chuck here, good to see you. Hope everybody's well. Uh, I'm sorry for the, uh, I guess, lack of um, lack of videos. Um, we've had uh, at the shop uh, that I teach at, um, we've had a bunch of summer camps and things going on. So on Fridays where I normally would um, record my videos, we got uh, concerts and, and camps going on. So um, it's just really noisy. So I just really haven't had a chance due to that to um, to record much. So I definitely apologize uh, for that. But um, I got one for you today, and <laughs> and and it's actually going to have to do with traditional grip. And uh, I'm going to tell you uh, if you notice, I have a, I mean I have a ton of instructional content of various of various kinds on my uh, on my YouTube page. Um, but the ones with the most views and the ones that I get the most questions on is traditional grip. Um, so, which is great. Uh, you know, I'm glad that people are, are using it and, and, and uh, you know, are trying to get better at it. Um, so I've got another question um, or another video on traditional grip uh, where I wanted to address a couple of questions. Um, and specifically also one from, uh, um, from Dave Pierce. Dave, how you doing, brother? Um, so uh, I guess some of the uh, some of the questions I've gotten on this uh, one is on how do you keep the stick from I guess smacking against your ring finger uh, when you're trying to use the fingers and I guess specifically the index finger though I guess you know it could apply to the thumb or whatever fingers you're trying to use um, well let me just say this all right so Dave I guess this applies to you specifically. Uh, I guess you're probably sticking your fingers out like this, I think you said, okay? Uh, that can be a good start, I mean, if, if that's an issue, but what I usually do is I, I, I either curl them in like this or I curl them back, okay, kind of like, like this uh, to get them out of the way, okay? So something like this, let me get, let me get the, some 16s going on here, uh, I'll pick a random a random tempo here. Okay, so there I'm just I'm just pulling my fingers in. Okay. Dave, are you uh, are you seeing that and if anybody else is having issues with this? Um, you know, you can, again, either pull them into your hand or pull them back and just kind of curl them like this, okay? And that should get them out of the way. I, I don't, I, I've never had really any issues with that, but that's, that's what I would do. And same goes if you're mainly, you know, using your thumb, okay? Here I have the fingers just kind of tucked into my hand, but you can also curl them again in this kind of position like this, all right? So... You know, try try one of those two, and that should get the finger out of the way. Okay, uh, and, and something else I, I want to uh, address is, as you know, there I have a bunch of videos on different forms of finger control, and 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 though I have said what, what I'm about to say in those videos, I wanted to just say it again. Um, you know, I, I use uh, all of all the the various forms of finger control out there for traditional grip. I use all of them personally, um, but it depends on what I'm doing. Okay, um, like Dave, you, you mentioned, um, you know, doing the uh, single stroke roll with the index finger. You definitely can do that. Um, but I, I mentioned to you that I don't personally do that myself. Um, I mainly use my thumb when doing long single stroke rolls. So let me just kind of go through what I personally do, okay? All right, if, if I'm doing doubles, okay, doubles, I use almost strictly index finger. Okay, threes is also primarily index finger. Maybe fours. Okay, that's all index finger. Same, you know, if I go up to five, so short, short bursts like that, I'll typically just use my index finger. Or if I... Or if I need to play something really like finger strokes really quiet, okay, and really low, then I'll use my index finger. 
Okay, um, but if I'm doing, I guess, you know, slightly louder strokes uh, or a single stroke roll, then I, I, I use my thumb. Okay. All right. I, I don't know if you see that, but that's what I prefer to do. Uh, I don't really use my index finger uh, when doing a single stroke roll. And, that, and there's no reason for that. I just feel, you know, it feels more natural. I feel like I have better control doing it with my thumb. But ultimately, you should do it with however you, you see fit. That's why I, I say, again, you should try all these various forms of finger control and then try using them in different ways in your playing. I mean, because, I mean, you don't want to just practice just you know, the finger control on the left hand just by itself. I mean, you want to try, you know, utilize with the right hand playing, you know, various rudiments and, and other um, and other patterns, okay? So, um, but Dave, I guess, because this was a question, again, that you, you asked, um, I use the thumb, okay? That's probably the, the, the easiest gear to utilize. Okay, so that's uh, that's why I do. Excuse me, that was my my phone, but uh. all right. So that's that's what I do. And I, again, if if you if you go back and check out my uh, uh, my video on using the thumb, that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just I'm just pivoting from from right here. So um, for so for single for so for singles, uh, I use my thumb. Okay. Um, so again, it really just kind of depends on what I'm 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 doing, as as opposed as as to what combinations of fingers I'm going to use. I, I, and honestly, I don't really think about it all that much. Um, I just, you know, again, I'm usually I'm usually using my my thumb and my index finger uh, together in various ways. I mean, even when I use my thumb, I am trying to use my index finger a little bit to push down on the stick. So. You know, the goal is just is really just to get the stick going in whatever way you can. Okay. Okay. So, see if I can get like a, a better angle here. Okay. So I hopefully that's uh, you can get a good picture of that. All right, so yeah, that's that's essentially how how I do singles uh, personally. So um, again, you could do singles using you know the other methods as well. So that's my best advice. You know, I, I you know really I've found overall with just hand technique, and this doesn't go just for traditional grip; just goes for match grip as well. There isn't one way to play that seems to ac accomplish everything you want it to do in the best possible way. Uh, I constantly shift my fulcrums, uh, even on my right hand, uh, I do different positionings and, and different finger positions. I mean, I'm constantly shifting gears and positions to, to play what um, um, I'm trying to play in the most efficient manner uh, possible. Um, but you know that's ultimately going to look different from person to person, okay? And that's really why I I did all those videos and the various um, finger control methods because um, you know for everybody one method is going to feel more comfortable than another, um, you know. But again, depending on how high I'm playing um, and what I'm playing will determine kind of what fingers I'm using. Now let me just say this: if you're playing up here, like around this height. You should be using your wrist, okay? You really shouldn't be getting into fingers until you get down here or lower. Okay, so you notice around here I use my thumb, but if I go lower, I will usually will switch to my index finger, okay? But if you're up here, I mean, this should be... Okay, I mean, I should definitely be with your wrists. Right, 
So, um, you know, so I think it's important, you know, to practice your movements, and not just a single stroke roll, open, closed, open. That way you kind of go through using all the gears from using your arms to your wrists, uh, wrists, your fingers, uh, uh, and so on. So anyway, so Dave uh, and anyone else, you know, having, um, you know, issues, again, as far as get, you know, get either tuck these fingers into your palm, okay, or pull them back like that and get them out of the way, okay? Uh, and that should work, my friend, okay, whether you're using your thumb or your index finger, okay? Um, and again, as far as, you know, what finger to use uh, in what situation, you got to experiment. Uh, there, there, there just isn't a hard, fast rule that you should do this or that. Um, I wish there was. <laughs> It'd be easier, but there, there just isn't. So, um, but again, I find the thumb to be really the default gear um, for finger usage on traditional grip, okay? But uh, again, you know, since the, the thumb and index finger are forming a T, I typically use them both uh, together in many ways, okay? Sometimes it's more thumb, sometimes it's more index, but they're usually working in tandem in some form or another, okay? So anyway, I hope, Dave, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, and if anyone else had similar questions, I hope uh, that helped. Okay, so I hope you guys have a happy uh, 4th of July. If uh, Obviously, if you're in the States, if you're not in the States, I hope you guys have an awesome, uh, awesome weekend. All right, and you guys uh, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. All right, take care.